morning. It's Sunday morning. Puppy and I are just chilling in bed. Tom's having a shower. Um, got another day off today. Ooh. So that's nice. I think we're going to nip to Curry's and get some stuff from there. And that's probably about it. And then we're just going to put up all the pictures that we got from Ikea yesterday and things like that. So super exciting day. No, not really, but it's just nice to have a day to, to chill and relax. So yeah, happy Sunday. Hope you have an amazing week ahead. I'll see you later. So I've just done my makeup and we're ready to go to Curry's. I'm loving the Asda brow tamer at the moment. I think it looks awesome. So yeah, let's go to Curry's. We're just in Ketrin. Couldn't find what we wanted in Curry's because they want 80 quid for HDMI cable. No, no, no. <laughs> Tuesday evening now well it's about quarter to six and I'm just chilling at home with the dog uh, Tom is on his way home from Glasgow he's just about to, well literally just like flying now um, but a really bog standard day had a really nice day yesterday uh, mum stayed over because Tom was away um, and I get really bad anxiety uh, so mum stayed over so it wasn't on my own we had a nice girly night i cooked the recipe that i vlogged last week my white wine uh linguine and then we went we watched a film watched love rosie which is a brilliant film if you've not already seen it then we went to the pub and had a drink with the dog uh, which was really cute and then we just went to sleep which was good had a bit of a sore head this morning because we drank quite a lot quite a lot of wine um <laughs> but mother and daughter time was extremely necessary. Um, I've got two exciting things to tell you. Number one is that I picked my new car up on Thursday. So I picked my mini up on Thursday. Um, that's my alarm telling me to sort my blog post out for tomorrow. Yeah, so I picked my mini up on Thursday, which is really exciting. And the other exciting thing is two ladies popped into the shop yesterday, um, two representatives for Paragon Skills, I think it's called. Yeah, Paragon Skills. Um, they were just on foot doing some on foot marketing and they popped in and I'm really glad they did because basically, um, this isn't sponsored or anything by the way, this is literally just me telling you about it because I'm well excited. The government have funding for people over the age of 16 in full time work over 30 hours a week and that don't have a degree, me, um, not because I didn't want to go to uni or couldn't get into uni. Not, no, that's wrong. Not because I didn't get into uni or didn't want a degree because uni really, really wasn't for me and I wanted to get out in full-time work and start my own business. So that's what I wanted to do. Um, but I don't have a degree. I work 30 hours a week, so I am eligible for um, some government funding towards some qualifications. So I love a challenge and I love taking things on and it's free and available to me, so why the hell not? So basically there's a list of diplomas you can take, free of charge, paid by the government and um, tutored by Paragon Skills. Morning everybody, it's Thursday morning and I'm at Mini collecting my new car. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, just collecting my car. Show you inside it in a minute. So this is my car. It's a Mini Cooper D. I'll just show you from the front. It's the brand new, it's brand new. Uh, it's just the new model as well. Um, it's got customized black wheels because I didn't like the chrome ones. So I'll show you inside. The key is so cool. It's um, it's push button start, so you actually don't put the key anywhere. Um, you just put the key down there. Press the clutch in. Press the button, and it starts. How cool is that? It's got like a big 
um, like dial there, navigation system, uh, media system. It's got the chili pack, so it's pretty high tech. Um, gorgeous steering wheel. I've got checked seats um, and just loads of gadgety bits. So I'm just so excited. The guy showed me everything to do with it. So yeah, it's super, super, super cool. Um, but you'll see me driving around in it quite a lot and uh, probably get to know it as well as I do. Because <laughs> uh, you know how much I like to vlog in the car. So yeah, this is my new car. It's called Wallace. And uh, I'm really, yeah, really, really happy with it. And then just to turn him off, just press the button. And to turn it, the screen off, just press the button again. How fucking snazzy is that? So yeah, that's Wallace. That's my new car. Happy days. Hi guys, home from work now. Um, just been driving my new car home. It's so cool, I really like it. I like it much more than I thought I would. But look. They gave me flowers as well for picking my car up and said thank you for the business. And uh, bought me, I think possibly, sorry Tom, the nicest flowers I've probably ever been given. Um, but how cute is that? So I'm just gonna spend the night in tonight and then I've got the day off tomorrow so I can just do whatever I like. Uh, puppy's been a bit crazy today so I'm gonna give her a bit of uh, attention. She's been a bit weird. Um, where have you gone now? What are you doing? But yeah, have a nice evening and I will have a nice evening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Morning everybody, it's Friday, it's half ten and I am in a big strop. Huge strop, in fact. Number one, Tom rang me and was like, oh, I forgot my wallet, can you bring me my wallet? So I've got to drive all the way out there to give him his wallet, um, which is a pain in the ass. And also, my vlogging camera has broken again, so I'm filming on my iPhone. So, if you see the quality difference, that's why um, I've got to drive now to Ketching to get that fixed and kick off because I'm pissed off. And then I've got to give Tom his wallet, and then I can carry on with my day how I wanted to spend my day off. And you love it when people just ruin it for you. Ugh. I spent the whole day yesterday wishing for a day off and saying, oh, I can't wait for it, I really, really need it. And um, now I've just got to run around like a fucking headless chicken. But I'm in my new car. Whoop, 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 whoop. I really like it, actually. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's quirky and it's got a lot of gadgets. Um, it's not bright yellow. I miss my bright yellow already. Um, but no, it's cool. It's got some wicked features and it's a, it's a quirky car. Um, so, yeah, I've just got to run around today now. What I wanted to do was go and go to an antiques fair, antiques fair, antique shop where I used to work and um, get some stuff for the house. And then I wanted to go see my friend and her baby and then my nana and then my other friend and her baby. But now I've got to see how long this is all going to take me. So it's just a bit of a pain in the fucking ass, but that's life. Hi, can I have a um, large veggie burger meal, please? Veggie burger meal? Veggie burger. Oh, veggie burger, yeah. Can I take one, please? Yeah, do you want another meal? Have any uh, sauce today? Um, barbecue, please. Barbecue, I'll hop in the bag for you. Here you go, there's whiskey weights in there. Thank you, that's okay. Thank you. Hi guys, so I went to Curry's and explained uh, how peeved I was with the camera and they gave me a new one so welcome back to the better quality, sorry about the iPhone footage this morning. Um, I'm now going to go and see my Nana and my friend and her baby. So I'm home now, I went to see my Nana and Teddy and Nicola and now I'm home so I thought I'd show you what I got today. Also something that I, some stuff that I got yesterday for Arla at the pet shop. Um, so let's start with that. Um, let me turn it around. So 
Uh, I went to our local pet shop near work and they've got some new stuff in so I thought I'd try it with Arla. Uh, for Arla, not me, I'm not trying it. Um, and they've got this new like healthy, I like to make sure she has healthy, grain free, like no jelly, um, not your traditional dog food. I like to make sure she's got like the healthy stuff because pugs can put on weight really quickly so I like to make sure she's got like the best stuff. Um, this is green and white, it was natural, naturally for dogs, I thought it was naturally for dog food then. Um, naturally for dogs, darn good food for dogs. This is a delicious duck with rabbit and it's got superfood veg in it. Um, also, nice touch, there's this removable lid, so it opens like a tin and there's a removable lid. Um, keeps it fresh, which is really good because the Lily's Kitchen stuff don't have that and I think they need to do that if you're watching. That's a really good touch. Um, so yeah, I got that that tin and another tin this is the very venison again with the lid very impressed with that I also got some herring fish sticks um, fish is really really good for dogs because it makes their coat nice and shiny it stinks but it's really good for dogs so I got in the stick form so that it's not like actual smelly fish um, these are the best creation ever you can also get these at pets at home but check your local pet store first because they're usually cheaper there um they last for ages i have no idea what sorry i just hit you there's i no idea what they are i think it's like a chicken stock in like a solid form but they are rock solid and they last absolutely ages um she has a hedgehog but she still hasn't finished and something else but this is a chicken flavored one so i thought i'd get her that um they did Seven dentist sticks for £1.50, so I've got seven of those. Great if you have a dog with a smelly breath. We actually don't, but it's great anyway. This is again from Green and Wood, Green and Wood, Green and Wilds, and this is a tree root. So great for teething, great for gnawing on, a long-lasting um, treat for dogs. I also got her an antler as well, which are uh, brilliant. Um, but she's already had that upstairs. Definitely not finished it, it'll last month. Also got the Green and Wilds um, antler powder, um, which it said you sprinkle on their meal on the top, which I just have now and she seems to be enjoying it. Um, and it's meant to be really nutritious for them. So put that in. I think it's got like bone marrow natural products in. And lastly, I've got three of these. There's only two left, she had one yesterday. And they are meaty biscuits. They literally smell like wholemeal flour. So I reckon they're just like homemade biscuits from the pet shop. Um, it was three for a pound, so I got three of those. They're like a meaty, like wholemeal, healthy flavour. And they're really big, so they'll last ages. And then on to the not so, what else is in there? I think. On to the not so doggy items. Bottle of water. Onion, always. Um, bottle of Diet Coke. My new vlogging camera, exactly the same as my last one, just the non faulty one. Uh, card from Nicola and thank you card from Nicola and Teddy. And Tom, sorry Tom. Uh, I also got a corner punch, um, which is a corner rounder. It's got two different corners. Um, those two. Uh, so that's for my scrapbook because all of my project life. Um, corners are rounded and it's going to look funny if I don't put them else, everything else rounded. Uh, then I got these pair of earrings from, whoops, turning my hob on, not the best idea. Um, got these earrings from Matalan and they've got a little diamante, they're like a front and back earring, a uh, little diamante and then focus and then a C in silver and it says C, creative and courageous, which I like to think I am. And they were only three pounds, so I thought, what a cute idea, and I got those. I then got my mum a Mother's Day present. Hello, what is all that wetness on the floor? Um, I then got my mum a Mother's Day present. I'll just lay this down. I actually already have got her a couple of things for Mother's Day, but she loves shift dresses, and this is like a camel and black. It's like a 70s style shift dress um, with a V-neck, a camel on the top and camel on the bottom, just a normal cap sleeve, and it was £10 down to £6 in the Matalan sale. And I know she will wear that a lot and she will love it with leggings and booties and tights. So I got her that as well. I also got two new, two more things. These are actually for a blog post that I'm doing with um, Asda, uh, George at Asda. Um, and they sent me some stuff in the post the other day to do a blog post on, which I'm going to do. But I thought I would get two more things just to add to the blog post. So I bought the 
George Mack Foundation, which is focus, 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 focus. It says shine control and chamomile, and that's in number two sandstone, which seems to be my shade. Um, it was on offer for three pound fifty, and I also got the illuminating primer as well, which I tested on my hand and was amazing. Um, it's like a creamy, creamy, like a like a, a highlight consistency, a liquid highlight consistency. Um, but I tried it on my hand and it's really good. So I thought with the illuminating primer and the matte foundation, maybe I can make my own kind of finish then because I don't like a matte primer and a matte foundation because I feel like then you get like the crumbly feel. Um, so I got both of those. Um, and this feels really high quality. Um, as a product the consistency is quite thick a bit like mac studio sculpt i think it's called yeah the one in a similar tube to this and i think this is kind of like a, a light foundation like a bb cream kind of style that illuminating um primer has now set on my hand from earlier and i have the most gorgeous glow on my hand it looks wicked so i'm really excited to try these there will be a blog post coming soon i think everyone forgets about george as a brand uh, for makeup and they shouldn't because the brow tamer is my new favourite thing and gets me these amazing brows every morning. So yeah, I'm going to do a blog post on that. I hope you like it. I will link it below if it's already up, but it, it might be in next week's. Um, but yeah, that's what I got today. Hope you've had a wonderful day. I think we're going to go for a drink at the pub later, so we'll probably take you with us. If I don't, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, I'm just in bed. Um, I've been napping for a while. So, so, so tired. I'm just watching Super Vet with Arlo while she sleeps next to me. So cute. Um, and that's really it for this weekly vlog. Sorry if it's been a bit of a strange, dull week. But that's, that's my laugh. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in next week's vlog. I hope you have a great week ahead. See you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and love you lots.